A letter written by Jared Fogel in prison last November ended up in the New York Post earlier this year. It included an admission. I royally screwed up. Curious that the letter ended up in a tabloid. Of course Fogel wrote that. It was a blatant attempt at eliciting sympathy. His projected release date according to the Colorado Board of Corrections is March 24, 2029. Convicted after pleading guilty to possession or distribution of child pornography and traveling across state lines to have sex with a minor in November 2015. Sentenced to 15 years in prison. He was ordered to pay $1.4 million to 14 minor victims. He was a married father of two daughters. His wife filed for divorce in 2015. A co-conspirator of Fogel's was sentenced in federal court in Indiana on Monday to 27 years. The maximum sentence was life in prison. But Russell Taylor, 50, provided important information to federal law enforcement that helped them bring charges against Baldwin and Fogel. Angela Baldwin, 40, was found guilty of one federal sexual exploitation charge and three related felonies in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Indiana in October 2021 and sentenced to 33 years in prison. Taylor is the former head of the Jared Foundation, Fogel's defunct charitable foundation. He drew attention to himself and Baldwin. They did not divorce until 2017 by contacting a woman to offer images of child pornography. She called the Indiana State Police. A search warrant was issued for the Taylor's home, where child pornography was discovered on multiple electronic devices. Taylor was convicted of 12 counts of producing and a single count of distributing images of child pornography in 2015. Filed a motion to vacate and saw his conviction overturned in 2020. District Court Judge Tanya Walton Pratt, who presided over the trial, ordered a new trial. Taylor's former counsel having been of ineffective assistance for failure to challenge three charges not supported by evidence. They advised Taylor to accept a plea deal. He was sentenced to 27 years. Prosecutors had agreed not to seek a sentence in excess of 30 years. This time, prosecutors wanted to sentence him to 35 years in prison. His attorneys pressed for one of 19 years' duration. On Monday, Taylor was once again sentenced by Judge Pratt to 27 years after pleading guilty to 30 charges, ranging from production and distribution of child pornography to sex with minors. The plea agreement refers to nine minor victims aged between 9 and 17. The victims were reportedly Angela Taylor Baldwin's two teenaged daughters. Her niece, a young girl formerly related to Taylor by marriage and her daughter's friends. Baldwin abused two of the victims. Judge Pratt did not mince words. The defendant ruined these girls' lives, she commented. Taylor parroted the usual meaningless phrases. My actions hurt you, he said. I violated your trust. He confessed that he selfishly viewed you as instruments of our own desires. Victims said they were showered with money and drugs and empty promises. All were groomed. All were introduced to sex toys. Part of the ongoing sexual abuse. When married. The Taylors hid cameras throughout their home to, secretly, film children in the nude and engaged in sex acts. Prosecutors believe that this occurred between 2011 and 2015. Baldwin was not charged until 2020. Text messages between her and Taylor and between Taylor and Fogel were brought into evidence. Video evidence of sex crimes was presented as well. Federal Prosecutor Catherine Olivier read victims' statements in court.
revealing lifelong needs for therapy. One victim said 27 years was not enough. We have a lifetime sentence. <laughs>